In the wake of a disaster, immediately the phones began to ring. Activation calls are going out. Text messages are going out. The Salvation Army is trying to mobilize our teams. We're trying to mobilize our volunteers. So it's a ton of coordination to get everyone on the same page in terms of our response. Other industries are, are looking at widgets. The stakes are much higher for healthcare because they're looking at people's lives. Natural disasters are happening all over the world. You can see where there once were homes, there once were neighborhoods, now there's nothing there. The devastation is getting worse. There are plenty of challenges in operating a disaster environment. You have big monolithic systems that don't talk to each other. It's very fragmented in terms of where information's coming from and how it's being distributed. The biggest challenge at AT&T is connecting first responders or doctors and EMTs with the people that support them. There's a lot of pressure out there in order for us to make sure that these calls never fail. Technology for us is a matter of life and death. If you don't have a patient's record, you might not be able to prescribe the right medication. And if you're not able to manage your inventory, then you aren't able to perform service deliverance of mass care. The idea of connected healthcare is really bringing together disparate systems and data that exists in lots of different places. Devices are going to get smaller, capability is going to get more increased. If you would have told people 20 years ago that they're going to have all this information in the palm of their hand continuously, you know, they might have looked at you like you were a little crazy. With the utilization of a tablet from our volunteers and our personnel, survivors are able to say exactly what they need. The Salvation Army inventory based upon that real-time information. You're actually seeing innovations that are transferring the information that's been collected out in the field to where that care is going to be provided. A delay in that information may be critical at the time when the patient's in need. We look for ways to make our response more efficient, coordinate it better so that we can meet the needs of survivors. The future of healthcare is looking towards becoming more predictive and looking to help transfer some of that information back to the patients, which will then enhance how patients are actually engaging in their healthcare today. Thank you.